Welcome back to Abroad with the Burrells, a channel for travelers by travelers. In our last episode, you joined us as we disembarked from the Carnival Panorama and explored the city of Mazatlan. My friend Manuel has kicked us up. He's taking us on a tour. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Seafood. That is beautiful. Oh, Wow, look Fresh. at the jumbo shrimp. It's amazing. Marlin. 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 What are these called? Uh, the spados. The spados? Yeah. That is bomb. Mm -hmm. After a fun-filled day, we were back on the ship enjoying some R&R &R and concluding the evening with a delicious dinner with family. <laughs> Lock in for our next episode as we'll chill some more with friends and family and hit our final stop, the lovely Cabo. Gotta love our animal for the day. It's a crab this time. Yep. That's pretty cool. We get a new one every day. What have we had so far? We've had... Elephant, uh -huh. bear, and this is a frog. I'm not sure. I think we had a rhino. Oh. Is this a frog or a crab? That might be a frog. No, it's got like a shell, it looks like. Yeah, and look at these. Yeah. We think it's a crab. Yeah. You guys tell us in the comments section what you think that is. Could be a frog too, but that... The face looks froggish, but I don't know. Just the posture and everything, it looks crabbish to me. Yeah. And frogs have eyes here, and do so does crab. True. Either way, it's pretty darn cool. Yeah. We awoke that morning to find ourselves ported in the lovely Cabo. This was literally the view from our balcony. I was so excited to tender in for some exploration, but as it turned out, it was atrociously hot that day. Sophia ended up being the only person in the family willing to leave the comforts of the ship. And so we embarked on a daddy-daughter trip to Cabo, Mexico. All right, we're headed into Cabo yeah. to explore. We got to tender in, so we'll be there soon. The Tender Inn was a short and scenic ride. Our anticipation built as we passed the pretty beaches, the jutting rock formations, and approached the squat, sunburnt buildings that made up the Cabo Harbor. Here we are, we've disembarked in Cabo. Gonna do some exploring, maybe get a couple of souvenirs, but it's very pretty here. Yeah. Going through is very nice. I love it. I know. Of all of the destinations, Cabo was definitely the smallest, most condensed, and certainly the most touristic. As far as exploration goes, the port itself isn't too unique. It's filled with bars, restaurants, souvenir shops, and excursions for sale. Sophie and I spent the next few hours walking around, perusing shops, and getting absolutely baked by the Mexican sun. Super hot here, oh my gosh, it's the surface of the sun. The sun is so angry. <laughs> yes it is. What did we do? Right? Back to the ship? Nah, I'm good, we're just gonna walk. Thank you. I really didn't film too much as the day ended up being some quality daddy-daughter time that simply didn't need to be interrupted with any vlogging. After buying my baby girl a new dress, we would make our way back to the ship. Well, we got a dress for Sophia. So we're now we're headed back because our ship tenders off in just about an hour or so. So we better get back in time. But Cabo was cool. Had a good time exploring the streets. Awesome. Just a short trip. You liked it, huh? Yeah, but super hot. And now it's time to go back on the ship and chill out. Maybe next time if we come to Cabo alone, we can stay longer and do some more things. But it was just a nice quick exploration for us. And with that, we had pulled up anchor and were on our way back to the panorama. Once on board, Jamie and I were pretty hungry and decided to go to Guy Fieri's Pig and Anchor, a barbecue spot that is an absolute must do if you're on the panorama. 
We wouldn't be going it alone, however, as we decided to share lunch with our new friends, the Iowa Outfit. But well, we first met them by the pool and they turned out to be a really fun group. What made it even better is that all of our kids really hit it off as well. A little pig and anchor with the Iowa crew. Hey, finally got them all in one place at one time. Thanks for, thanks for being a guest on the channel, everybody. <laughs> pig and anchor was delightful. The flavors, the sauces and sides, all of it was top notch. This is usually a spot that is not included in your package, which means you have to pay to dine here for dinner. However, a few times a week, they are open for a buffet style lunch that is free of any extra charge. Make sure you build your lunchtime schedule around this place at least once during your cruise. Or if you're like some members of our family, several times throughout your cruise. Okay. Yes. If barbecue isn't your thing, there are many other dining options on the ship, some included in your package and some for an extra charge. From pizza to seafood, tacos to tapenaki, there's something for everyone. We have a full, unbiased, and in-depth ship review covering the Carnival Panorama and all of its amenities that you'll have to check out in a different video. After a bit of lunch, we relax some more on the deck before meeting up with the Iowa outfit for a great night of dancing on 80s night. music drawn to a close, we concluded the festivities with a night of laughter at the Punchliner, the Panorama's own comedy club. The Carnival Panorama was a lovely cruise and turned out to be a wonderful summer vacation. The good times, laughter, and quality time with family was absolute chicken soup for the soul. What an unbelievable week we experienced as we were blessed to make memories that will last us a lifetime. That's going to do it for this episode of Abroad with the Burrells, but you do not want to miss our next series as our family heads to the deep south to explore the wonders of the Crescent City, aka the Big Easy. Join us as we hop on an airboat and check out the Louisiana Bayou. My family have been here for over 140 years, since my great-great-grandparents. I went two miles down the bayou, right that way. Bruh. This is the definition of do not try this at <laughs> No way. We'll also enjoy an evening on a steamboat river cruise. We'll investigate the French Quarter and while there, eat delicious beignets along with many other New Orleans staples. All right. Po' boy. That's the po' boy right there. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ding that notification bell for the algae. As we always say, traveling is not just about the destination, but who you share it with. From our family to yours, we encourage you to get out there, make it happen, and have fun! Thanks for watching!